You know, one of the interesting things about making, uh, about this whole process of producing a score and him writing as much as he did, is that we were on tour doing a lot of this. I mean, we were playing 40, we played 43 shows. Yeah, on a 40 uh, and so that meant that we spent a lot of time here on off days, but actually it also meant that we spent a lot of time in the back of a bus. And I mean, technology has come so far and it's unbelievable that that we can kind of be... Um, just bring all our toys. Yeah, we brought all, everything with us and basically we just kind of locked the back lounge and said, stay out, <laughs> this is our studio. And um, we just, worked. Just like, just enough time to get ready for the show and then do the show and then come back to come back to the back lounge to work. And we get immersed in it. There were a couple of times when we almost missed our start time of our show. Like, ah, put a clothes on, we gotta go. Get. Well, it's exciting too because like, like for me, music just excites me and, and to be able to to watch a piece of film and connect music with it and when you find that connection it's like you you know in your mind when you hear it and, and you play it that that that's, feels right you yeah. know i don't know how to how to explain that but you know in your mind that that feels right and and you get immersed in it and you lose track of time yes you do and so there were there were a few moments there and, and amazing and, and i can't i continue to be amazed by his brilliance at realizing how much power a single note has <laughs> Just one note. That that was that was pretty. It was pretty epic to watch a genius create and say, "No, no, we're gonna play this one." And then all of a sudden, you're like, 